We made it back to the cabin. It's just in time for winter. We were kind of worried about the transition from cabin life to van life to back to cabin life. But so far we're enjoying both. And it wasn't like we were worried about, you know, not enjoying van life. We were worried we were gonna miss the comforts we've learned to love. Like a hot shower. So the plan while we're here is to just make the most of winter. Plus it's not so bad when you know you only have a month of it. Hey, hot stuff. How you going with the fire? <laughs> Pretty good. Got you some more kindling. Thank you. Kindling! Uh, I missed the gym. I missed your weights. I missed your bench. I missed your workout schedule. Looks like I killed my plants. But it is way too cold out here. So we're gonna have to do something inside. Are you joining? I'll be joining. Should break a chair. Broke a chair. Maybe you don't have to work out after all you're <laughs> too strong for your own good. And it's not like I couldn't work out on the road. There were just so many excuses not to. Mainly being not having a shower. The workout. <laughs> Last week, we're literally taking a in front of each other. And this week, we've got our own showers. Oh, simple joys of living in a normal house. I feel like this bathroom belongs in a spa magazine. Or I guess, in a spa. <laughs> Time to make more dishes. Soy boy. We're working on cookbook number two. We're going all out with this one. Recipes are looking yummy. 50 plus recipes, we'll tell you more about that later. If you never had tofu scramble, it's kind of like an eggy kind of thing. But if you really want it to taste like egg, black salt. Best restaurant in town. <laughs> Only, Only restaurant, restaurant in town. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really nice, thank you. Okay, I'm a little concerned here. We've got these little black specks on the counter. I think it's mice poo. No. Yeah. Mice poop? Yeah. No! Yeah. The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to have. Ah! Ah! Should probably clean up all these drawers. Yeah. I do not think that's chocolate chips. Well, to be honest, I'm a little surprised we didn't have any mice issues last year while we were doing construction. There weren't really walls or insulation or spray foam or any of that. And now that there is, I do have a couple precautions in place. So let's go check on those. My theory was if we're gonna have little critters entering the casa, it's gonna be from the basement. That guy's licked clean. Mice poo, mice poo. They're in here. So before we left for Morocco, we had our first attempt at ever anchoring our docks. Oh, idiot, 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 idiot. We're anchored. I feel pretty dumb. But as it turns out, we didn't do that right. Where's the other dock? <laughs> so, we're going on a little rescue mission. Hip waiters. How am I supposed to know where these are? This is one of those places that, uh, 
only Eamon really knows the organization of. Like, I know there's a method to his madness, but it's just total chaos. I don't know where they are, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty embarrassed. <laughs> he said the hip waiters are in the boathouse, not in the basement. And he told me that. I'm, I guess I have selective hearing. Ooh, so icy. Ooh, nah. All right, where are he left then? Got your hip waders. Thank you, sir. Everything else we got ready? You drive. We actually had to fly the drone to find the rock. We think it's in this little bay over here. Uh, I think maybe this is as far as we can get. Can you go in there? I can see the rafts over here. Okay, this might be a cold mission, hence why Beck's got this. You grab the bucket, babe. What is the plan here? <laughs> this bucket? <laughs> it must be fun being you, like you're always just like up for whatever. And <laughs> she doesn't even ask me what we're doing until we're kind of doing it. Well, you know what's funny, baby? When we're traveling, that's you. What do you mean? Like I'm the one who does the planning when we're traveling. So I'm like, oh, yeah. baby, we're going to do this adventure. You're like, oh, cool. That's true. You know, and then you, you plan this sort of thing. Yeah, that's true. So we each have our purpose. So <laughs> each take our turns. In summer, it is quiet here. But in winter, next level. It's like a recording studio in here. <laughs> it's crazy. You see her? Oh, I see her. Hi, dog. You wanted to tie it to a tree so it doesn't float off in spring. That's right. <laughs> you don't need me out there, right? I'm just here to do the camera work, or? <laughs> I don't know what it is about you and hip waders, but man, you look cute. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna catch a duck. <laughs> that would've been good. First, we gotta find a rock. Okay, I'm going in. Oh my god. Is this a really bad idea, Eamon? Don't worry, Doc, I'm coming for ya. Woo, we made it. Last time when I floated away, I did three granny knots. This time, I did five. Good work, baby. <laughs> Hopefully she's here when we get back again. We'll see. Look at our neighbors, you guys. Hi, buddy. Hi, dear. I just saw that hunting season is over, so these guys must know that, and now they're really friendly. <laughs> I also saw, you won't believe this, babe, on the news that these guys, white-tailed deer, can carry COVID. Look at how close it, what? Yeah. Keep your distance, bud. Social distancing. Well, you have, take care, eh? Have a great night. <laughs> I'm not sure how much daylight we have left, but there is one more project we wanted to get done today. But first, we want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. 
ThreadUp is an online thrift store with the brand names we already know and love. And you've heard me talk about them a bunch because I'm a big believer that shopping secondhand is a big step in a more sustainable fashion future. As the seasons change here in Canada, I often find myself with a few gaps in my wardrobe. So let me show you what I thrifted in this haul to keep me warm this winter. The perfect basic tank from Intimately by Free People, normally $30 and I got it for $13. And this awesome cozy cardigan, a little oversized from Gap, normally $60 and I got it for $16. Pants are from Lululemon, retail price of $98 and I got them for $64. And I was looking to dress up my winter attire a little bit, so I got this Michael Kors scarf, normally $68 for $29. And this beautiful Hugo Boss jacket, retails for around a thousand dollars and I snagged it for 200. Get an extra 30% off your first order and free shipping when you use code BECK. I know this is like one of the least favorite things to do. Yeah. I think I'm busy so I gotta water my plants which is actually true I do. So. Bye. There was a beautiful summer day right before we left where I said, you're gonna regret not doing this, you're gonna regret not doing this. And yeah, of course, I regret not doing it. It's not like it's a difficult job. It's so freaking annoying. So freaking annoying. This shed is so freaking disorganized. All this freaking stuff needs to freaking move. Oh no. Any guesses what I'm doing yet? These! Of course, you're at the bottom! Whenever you don't want to do something, my brother Fraser says, just get started. In case you're still not sure what I'm doing, in Canada you need to have winter tires because we get a lot of snow. These are my winter tires. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. It looks like... That was Charleston's old house. There he is, Charleston's corner. Hey Charleston. How you get Charleston? Find me a Canadian who doesn't wait until the very first snowfall of the year to put their winter tires on. Then we're standing out here in minus 10 degree weather, changing our winter tires. Wheels on the bus go round and round. How does that song help you make sure you have the right one? Because, buddy, it's a kid song. <laughs> Break up with your holy water boyfriend And every insecurity will fade You got that jack thing up on there? It's the modern century There's no reason Is this the right tire? I think this one up here must be Two more sides. I'm gonna spare you from all that. Because it's annoying. Time is only 4 p.m., but we're gonna lose all daylight for the day. Winter in Canada. Um, so I'm gonna start prepping dinner. We've been eating like two meals per day because of these weird daylight hours. And I'm thinking we should do a pasta or soup tonight. I actually found these leftover pierogies. So I'm thinking that's the move. Last but not least, I thought I'd Add some greens to the plate. I grew up eating a lot of pierogies. My granny used to home make them. What's a dish that you could have or a flavor you could taste that brings you right back to your childhood? Or your favorite meal? Or yeah, your favorite thing your granny ever made you? Leave it in the comments below. Perfect granny! Something about travel and specifically being in Morocco that I both love and hate as a vegan is there are no meat substitutes, so we eat very clean, very whole food, plant-based. <sighs> and we were on track to keep that up here, and then I found these babies. Thought we might as well treat ourselves. In the event that you're not from the Northern Hemisphere, or perhaps you thought I was exaggerating about the sunset time, I wanted to show you this. It's 4.30 p.m. <sighs> the sun is gone. And you know what's crazy about that? is my body feels like it's bedtime now, even though it's only 4.30 p.m. Normally I would wait for Eamon to eat with me, but I've been waiting half an hour and he went over to say hi to the neighbors, which is down the road. Um, I'm thinking he's probably having a beer and maybe even eating over there. 
He's been looking for some friends lately. Hi, you okay? Yeah, I just had a soda with an arrow there. <laughs> So this guy got his fix of other humans, and now he comes home to a nice meal. Tell him I'm living the dream. <laughs> I am li living proof that the dream does exist, friends. You just need to find a woman named Beck. Hmm. Buddy, you want to kiss and kiss and make out a little, or what? Sure. You guys want to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Pooh. All right, second shower of the day, feeling fresh. And I wanted to know, does any of you guys watching spend a lot of time in the comment section? Because this one sure does. She's been type tip tapping all day. It's a Sunday, so video went out. And um, I just want to say thank you because I spend most of my Sundays doing this. I love connecting with all of you. So leave a comment today and I'll chat with you there. You almost done? Um, no, but you want to watch something? Let's go, bud. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And I'm not putting on pants. <sighs> Cinema nights here are quite the upgrade from the van. In the van, it would be a double bed watching on an iPhone. Here we have yeah, a projector. True. We each have a queen bed to ourselves. It's, I don't know, are we losing touch with each other? Not at all. Dude. Nah, this is sweet, eh? <laughs> What's on the tally tonight? First up, SLV. Kill the lights, baby. See you soon, homies. That's what our YouTube homepage looks like. A little bit of King and that, a little Mahax, a little Karen Nate, a little Flying the Nest, Wild We Roam, Van Wives. We got some content to watch. Let's go. <laughs> we are cooked, and it's 9 o'clock. I feel like living in the woods makes you a 60-year-old, well, what age goes to bed at 9 o'clock? I don't know, but that age. <laughs> it's about time. Great day in the woods, alone. <laughs> you went to Harold's for a drink. Don't even give me that. Yeah, actually, I invited Harold and Gary over for dinner Tuesday night. <laughs> That's going to be one you don't want to miss. <laughs> I saw on TikTok. Every, every sentence of yours starts with I saw on TikTok. You're not supposed to rinse your mouth out after you brush, apparently. Apparently you're supposed to leave all like the fluoride or something in there. Really? Uh -huh. Are you gonna try it? No. That's what I'm saying. You think I'm like out there, you know. You are. Watching cat videos, but. Well, you're out there ignoring me. That's the worst part. But I'm learning. <laughs> all right, good night, bud. Good night, bud. So Beck has been getting in the habit of kicking me out of this room and making me go upstairs. And I think it's time for me to come back. So I'm gonna surprise her. She'll be shocked when she walks in. Change of plans. Breakfast is ready, bud. 
This guy might wake up at 10 a.m., but he does it in style. But this looks unreal. You know you live in Canada when you serve a bowl of maple syrup on the side. Well done, Bill. Lovely. I don't know what's going on with this. Look at this. My whole headliner. Totally gone. Ugh. Buy an old truck. Just kidding, I love this truck. First stop, post office. Only half an hour away. Next, mouse traps. And finally, some food, you know? For the dinner party we're having tomorrow night. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Morocco, Ayub and his team are going hamburger. The van has never been in so many pieces and I'm getting a little nervous. More on that later, bye. Hey, what do you know? It's still raining. Well, some people would use today as an excuse to lay around all day. But I'm not gonna waste this beauty day. Oh, Canada, I missed ya. Are you okay? Oh my God. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> the adrenaline is Baby, it order. really gets you going. I'm gonna do a workout. I'll go for another dip right now. Okay. Let's go. Don't forget you can use code BECK for 30% off your first purchase with ThreadUp. See ya.